So, my son's getting married. So imagine my... news. When he says that I can't come to his wedding and neither can my wife, aka his mother, because his new in-law said we're not good enough to hang out with them and we will embarrass them. My wife and I bought a four-bedroom house in Pennsylvania that my son lives in. Our son went to college in Pennsylvania and wanted to stay in the area. So we bought the house and the second home. We live in New Jersey and commute into Manhattan for work. We figured that he would have a place to live and we could visit ever so often and spend some quality time together. We pay the taxes and services slash maintenance on the house. Our son pays for his groceries and the house utilities. All was going well for a few years. Then our son meets a girl and they get serious. We met her and she seems nice enough. Then they announce their engagement and she moves into the house with our son. Now, for the problem. The wedding. We hold a little get-to-know-you barbecue at the Pennsylvania house. My son and daughter are there, as our son's fiancé and her parents, and sisters. We all seem to be getting along well, and my wife, daughter, and the fiancé go into the house along with their mother, and sisters, and my son. A few minutes later, my wife and daughter come out, and they're really upset. They come over and tell me we're leaving and driving back to New Jersey. I try to find out what happened once we get back to New Jersey, and they calm down and they told me that our son and his fiance, along with her family, don't want us at the wedding. According to what I was told, quote, we're not their kind of people. I was livid. I called my son and asked him what the heck this was about. He tells me that her family feels that we're not good enough and will embarrass them at a family wedding, and that we're all uninvited from the wedding. I let a week go by to calm myself down, and I drive back to the Pennsylvania house. The new future-in-laws are in the house along with the fiancé. It appears that they all moved into the home, and they ask me why I'm there. I tell them that since we're not invited to the wedding, I was coming over to talk to my son, they tell me to leave their house, and I lost it. I told them that they had 30 days to get out. Tell my son I'm selling the house, and he could find somewhere else to live with all of you. I got to a realtor in town and listed the house for sale. They call my son at work and tell him what I said. Apparently, they thought he owned the house. He calls me and asks me why I'm doing this. I tell him I paid for it along with the taxes on it, and it's mine. He was living there rent-free, but since he doesn't want us in his new life, he has to get out. I tell him the same as I told his future in-laws. They have 30 days to get out, then I'll get a lawyer and get them evicted. Am I the a-hole for taking a hard stance on this? He is my son, but the in-laws seem to take over and we no longer count. Wow is all I have to say. I cannot believe OP's son did not stand up for his own parents. Here's a comment. Not the a-hole. What kind of people do they think you are? How is your son okay with excluding his whole family? Do you think your son's been brainwashed by his fiance? How did he think the house was his when he didn't even pay taxes on it? So many questions. Guys, the second there's an update for this story, you will be the first to know about it. Alright, drop your thoughts about it. I want to hear your comments on this one because it was bonkers. The next story on the day is titled, Am I the a-hole for replacing myself with my twin brother at my in-law's Christmas Eve party? To see if anyone noticed. I'm 31 and have an identical twin brother. For a while, I've told my wife that none of her family members notice me or care anything about me. And I do on Christmas Eve, but they insist on me attending. She told me that's not true. They genuinely like me and enjoy talking to me. But I know that only the times they've included me, I've basically inserted myself into conversations. And it feels awkward and unnatural. So, I had a wager with my wife. Bring my twin brother, Steve, instead of me, and see if anyone notices. I purposefully did not prep Steve on anything. He went in completely clueless and he knew why we were doing it and he was game. I gave him 20 bucks. As I suspected, Steve confirmed that he was not approached all night. 
Nobody could tell he wasn't me, and he admitted he even felt excluded, and he could only imagine how I felt. So, this morning on Christmas, I invited Steve to join. Normally, he's with my mom and dad every year, as he's not married or in a relationship. They know about him, obviously, but did not know about the little switcheroo. That was when I revealed that last night, I was Steve, and expressed disappointment that nobody noticed, and said this is why I stopped trying. Nobody likes me. My wife drew the line here. She was hoping we could just keep this between the two of us as a funny little prank. But how can I expect her family to see what jerks they've been if I don't expose it? So I came across a comment that had an interesting standpoint. They did not say, not the a-hole, or you are the a-hole. They're saying everyone sucks here, and let me tell you why. If this is real, I'm going to go with everyone sucks here. You should have kept it between yourself and your wife to prove a point, that you shouldn't have to go see her family. Yes, what her family does sucks and makes them a-holes, but you really have no hope for that ever changing. People tend not to change crappy behavior, it's called out. By doing what you did, you've now made a bad situation worse. Someone replies to that and says, Or, if OP really wanted the dramatic reveal, he needed to at least clear it with his wife. It would not make it more effective, but blindsiding her with her family is pretty crappy. Do you guys agree with that comment? Do you think that OP went way too far with the blindside? He should have told his wife or just not done it at all. Drop your comments and opinions, and we're going to turn our attention to the final story of the day. Am I the a-hole for telling my wife and in-laws to duck off after they told me to stop cuddling my daughter? Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you're missing out because there's going to be updates that come out later on for some of these stories, and it might be something you want to see. So click that subscribe button, it really helps support me, and I thank you for that. Here's your final story. I have three kids, 15 female, 12 female, and 7 male. My oldest has always been a cuddler, and that shoots me fine because I am too. Recently, my in-laws were over, and we were all watching a movie together. It was a kid's movie, and so my 15-year-old was bored out of her mind and tired, so she started to snuggle up to me and go to sleep. After the movie was over, we sent all the kids to bed and their rooms and got to chatting for a bit. There was a fair bit of wine involved. I was sober, though, and eventually, after a short silence, my father-in-law let it drop. That he thought it was inappropriate, I still cuddled with my 15-year-old. I don't really know why he brought it up suddenly, but I was prepared to laugh it off and just assumed it was the alcohol. To my surprise, my wife and mother-in-law both agreed with him. I have a lot of respect for my in-laws. I get along with them great, and I consider them closer than my own parents. Obviously, I'm quite fond of my wife, as well, but I outright told them to, quote, duck off and go duck themselves, and then left them and went to bed. I've never spoken to any of them like that before, but it felt like the right thing to say in the moment. They all want me to apologize for being so rude. I don't know, though. Am I the a-hole for this? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to say not the a-hole in my opinion, and here's why. There's a comment I found that I agree with. Not the a-hole. The implications of what they're suggesting are horrendous. You cuddle your freaking kid. It's lovely that she feels comfortable with you. They're projecting their own disgusting thoughts, and it's bullcrap. You should not ever apologize to them. They should be apologizing to you for the implication. Guys, do you agree that basically this is what the family's trying to say? Something horrendous. Let me know your thoughts. I could see how OP could be offended by this, but I want to know your opinion. So drop your comments or let me know if you've ever been in a similar situation that you would like to share. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.